Yo guys, I just began the editing process on this video. You're gonna notice my beanie is gonna look a little funky and that's because look at this mess up here. And I'm too lazy to re-record it, sorry. Here are seven affordable things that you can do to make your fits all the much better brought to you by Surfshark. So let's start off with the free things that you can do. All you have to do is contact your family members of a different generation and just see if they have any clothes in their closet that they don't really wear that much anymore. Because most likely their youth was spent in the 80s and 90s and that era of fashion has been back for a good while now. Y'all have seen it in 2015 and 2016 with the 80s band tees and now 90s fashion is back and I am all for it. This is a free way to upgrade your fits, especially if it's a denim or a leather jacket. Those are grails because those will never go out of style. You just most likely gonna get a different fitment to today's standards like this denim jacket right here my girl this jacket belonged to her grandfather and we both use this whenever we want it's cut to be boxier the wash is a lot different definitely a signature 90s wash this is just better for the environment and you're gonna get a jacket or whatever piece it is that you can't buy at an affordable price because you know companies are trying to mark up their prices capitalize on the trend for profits and to circumvent that just hit up your family members or you can thrift I'm all for thrifting as well that's just not free. Now the next thing you can do is to further accelerate the aging process of an item by burning it, sanding it, or cutting it. I know it sounds kind of weird, sounds kind of ridiculous actually. Now I only recommend doing this on your headwear, I don't recommend doing it on your tees or your pants, maybe denim. That's about it. Anyways, this is an inevitable process that will happen to any of your items. For example, this hat, I picked it up from the Shy. It was a little too harsh in terms of the contrast within the hat itself. You got navy, brown, and a harsh white lining and a light gray brim. I thought I'd tone it down a bit by literally just burning the leather patch on it. Be safe, guys. It didn't have to be so perfect and crispy. It's a trucker's hat. Those aren't meant to be crispy. So instead of wearing a crispy hat for a few months straight just to get that worn in look, I made it a lot more wearable right away by doing it myself in just 30 seconds. Other things you can do is sand a piece with some sandpaper or in my case, grip tape. You could also slash some of the threading if you want. I just prefer sanding. If you want to do this with other items, go ahead. You could just distress your denim with a Dremel or something like that. But aside from denim, I do think those other pieces wear out better over time itself rather than you manufacturing the aging on it. Because those items, they do make more contact with your surroundings while your hat, it just stays on your head and collect sweat. Moving along, we got the cheap affordable stuff, but not exactly free. And so I'd say pick up some fabric spray paint. You could drastically change the look of any item of your choice as long as you learn how to spray. As always, a good rule of thumb is to spray at least six to 12 inches away. That way it doesn't cause any dripping. Remember when you did that to your 91 Civic SI hatch brake calipers for extra horsepower? Same process. I really recommend checking out the homie Corbin. He did make a video on these criminal forces and he made them a lot more tasteful, more aligned towards the a Cold Wall Air Force Ones and he used this exact spray. You can do the same. The cans are pretty cheap and you can probably get a lot of DIY projects with just one single can. Next subtle outfit upgrade that you could make is swapping out the laces. Pretty simple. What I recommend doing is unlacing your sneakers and measuring out the lace length. Every sneaker is different. Just think about the Vans Authentics versus something like the Nike Blazers. You want to make sure you get the right lace length that way your knot isn't flopping everywhere. And just for the most part, go for cream. These ones, they actually came with my Vans Authentics that I bought and I'm definitely gonna swap them out because cream and olive, they always look good together. These laces, they're a bit longer so they're more for high top or mid top sneakers. And you really can't go wrong with cream just because it can make your sneaker a lot more easier to style instead of having a harsh white contrast. Cream is a lot more subtle. And if you don't want cream, you don't want a black lace or a harsh contrasting white lace, Go for gray. Next up, throw on a tote bag. Now, I understand tote bags, they aren't for everyone, but trust me, they are nice to have, especially if you do a lot of grocery shopping or just shopping in general. If you live in a big city like New York and you don't have a car, a bag in general is pretty much a requirement. And I wanna mention tote bags because everyone has a backpack already, this is just a nice switch up. These bags are a great contrasting item to your fit. That's also pretty tasteful. I still don't really see them worn that often on guys. You know, I go to the city a lot. It's mostly on Instagram that you see the look. And that's just from my experience. And like I said, they're quite functional as well. Especially with today's day and age, I always keep my hand sanitizer in my bag. It's easy access. And it's not taking up space with my wallet and keys. So this one right here, it does come from Ore NYC. Shout out to Ray. It did cost a little bit more than your average tote bag, but it's very stiff. It's made out of premium material. Materials, and this is probably gonna last a good while. This one right here was sent over by Nike whenever I did work with them. It's winterized, weatherproof, and perfect for tech fits. But this one right here, I got from the Vans General Store. Guess what? Five cents. 
I kid you not, five cents. Now you did have to buy a pair of sneakers, but if you're gonna do that anyways, it's just five more cents and you get a pretty decent tote bag. Big shout out to the lady that rang me up. She was super cheerful, super nice. You need that kind of energy during these crazy times. And to be honest, most of your favorite stores already have tote bags available for sale. If you like plants, if you like anime, whatever you like, most of your favorite stores will have it. Definitely recommend a tote bag, and if tote bags aren't your thing, go for a sling bag or a shoulder bag. I got this one from Uniqlo. Kind of has a tote bag look, but it's more minimalistic. Another thing that you can do that's actually, I guess, free if you think about it. I mean, you're going to spend the money anyways, but that is to change the sizing and fitments of a certain piece of clothing that you were already going to buy. If you're used to the over oversized look, maybe go for a more fitted look. But for most of the general public, since they're drilled to make sure that the shirt is cut above the tricep for maximum 12 inch arms exposures for the ladies, go oversized, size up a size or two. By the way, there's nothing wrong with, you know, exposing your arms, you know, I've said it in the past all the time. Here's the difference between Jose's small oversized tees from Essentials versus the large oversized one that's two sizes up. The small is still pretty fitted to be honest, more normal fitting I should say, something like a medium Uniqlo shirt, while the large is two sizes up and seriously Seriously, Jose and their team nailed the oversized fitments. And you could just see the difference between both items. They both give off a somewhat different vibe. All for the same price you were already going to spend money on. Or instead of going two sizes up, you can just swap it out for a completely different cut. Some pieces are cut boxy, which is better for my short fellas. The hem isn't all the way past your homeboy down there, making for just a different fitment whenever it comes to layering. Or just go for different pieces altogether. Instead of spending that money on relaxed fitting denim, try a relaxed crop trouser maybe go for some flared pants, cargo pants, or pants that have a lot of customizability. Or check these athletic pants, you can just adjust the snap of the cuff to make it more tapered or just sit on your sneaker a lot more different than your average pair of denim. Plenty of options, just think a little bit more abstract. They're not just, these are pants just to cover my legs, and that's it. Clothes are more than that. Last but not least are of course accessories. I always recommend rings. You can get these cheap rings on Amazon. They are made of stainless steel. There's an endless amount of them and all for hella cheap. I'll leave a lot of links in the description where you guys can pick some up. Now a watch honestly isn't required for all guys, but I personally do dig on myself. This Casio watch has served me well and I honestly wear it more often than my $200 Orient Kamasu. And guess what? 20 bucks. Of course, necklaces look awesome, especially simple ones, yada, yada, yada. But I want to recommend a bandana and a scarf. A bandana can be used to tie against your belt loop just for an extra splash of a pattern to your fits down mid body. It can also be wrapped around your neck for a pattern up top that adds a nice touch to a layered fit. A scarf is the trousers of neckwear. Very smart and sophisticated. I always feel like I should be wearing glasses whenever I wear one of these scarves. It's also quite affordable. Great to keep yourself warm out there. Of course, I'm also recommend some beanies or any form of headwear. This one I got from Amazon, eight bucks. It's one of the most affordable accessories that can drastically change the vibe of your fit. After all, it does take up more surface area than jewelry would. And if you do like a certain brand a lot but can't really afford any of their items, guess what? A beanie is probably the cheapest item on their site. Plus, if you don't like wearing a lot of color, Go for a beanie. Clearly, these are going to add a pop of color to your fits, and if you guys are like me and you have a more depressed wardrobe, muted colors and all that, this is something to add some color to your life. And the last accessory is, of course, glasses. You're going to get a sophisticated, smart look. You can't really beat that. Some people do look better in glasses than others. You just want to find the right shape that you like on yourself. These glasses right here, they are from Jade Black. They are blue blockers. They basically help prevent the harsh blue light emitted from your screens from intercepting your sleep patterns, just like you can prevent people from intercepting your data by using the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, who I shall now thank for supporting the channel. If you're ever using public Wi-Fi, it's pretty ridiculous how easy it is for people to steal your data. And that's where Surfshark's VPN service comes in. That's virtual private network, by the way. Just open Surfshark on your computer or the app on your phone, and you just gotta tap one button, and it's like you have your own private network at home while in public. And there's a ton of public Wi-Fi where I live. I'm always connected to one if I ever go out. Even if we're all staying at home, the service is still useful because VPNs are a great solution to any internet censorship in other countries. That could be certain social medias or content. Let's just say you're in a country with no access to Disney+. Plus. That's where Surfshark comes in. Just change your country through the app and you will virtually be back in that country or any other country of your choice. And you could experience a paradigm shift after watching Soul, or you could see the best lightsaber duel in all of Star Wars. Johnny has been a customer with Surfshark for almost a year now, even prior to them sponsoring the channel. They also have very useful features like blind search, so there's no ads, no tracking, no more talking about a certain item and then getting ads about it. 
Still very weird, by the way. Go ahead and click the link in the description. Use my code TY, and you're going to get 83% off plus three months for free. Thank you, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. Protect yourself. And that is affordable ways to upgrade your fits. I know I did miss out on a lot. I scripted this video in one sitting, and I just filmed it right after. So I definitely missed some, okay? So drop your suggestions in the comments down below. Hit the like button. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytie. Deuces. Oh, subscribe.